up, war gamers? Uh, so I'm back here again with another weekly Gaslands build. Uh, this time we have rolled up a basic car. Um, rolled up a car. The main difference is that we happened to roll up was we got a small trailer, which I have a couple trailers laying around. I'll, I'll pick one later, you know, who knows. But uh, we rolled up a small trailer on the car and a arc lightning projector. So let's just dig through the box here. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got a. Oh, what did we get? A Mercedes Benz 220 SE. Don't know if you're going to focus. But uh, this is what we got. So, definitely got to build a little trailer hitch to the back. It's a pretty cool looking car. So let's just roll right into the build. All right, Wargamers, back on the build table. We got the Mercedes here. Um, digging through, I got this nice little, I think it's from a Matchbox Wrangler, but it'll work for a light trailer. Uh, what we're gonna do is we'll probably trim off some of this so it looks less like a canoe. And I got these little battery packs to stick on it here. So we'll kind of give it more of a little generator. More of like a little generator uh, feel than a just canoe. As far as this for the arc lightning projector. I don't really have anything good. A couple things I have that will work seem more Miyazaki themed or fantasy -y. So we're just gonna kind of use the good old-fashioned Imperial Guard last cannon here. Pretty long, but I think what I'm gonna do, just kind of like the look of it, I'm thinking, is we're gonna cut her down the middle here, and just like, they just basically cut away part of the cab, uh, part of the interior to fit this big hunk of gun. So yeah, let's get into some dribbling, and we'll be right back. We got her cut in half here, as you can see. Uh, just, just some nice tape to kind of make sure we have a straight line here. Uh, as I was cutting off, <laughs> trimming down the canoe, I did not know that this pops off. Uh, very surpri surprised me a lot when it just went boop and shot off. But I mean, it's nice. We can save it. Kind of gives us more of a little flat kind of thing to work with here. So uh, I think well, next what we're going to do, we're going to border off, clean up some of this gunk in here. Uh, kind of rebuild this flat. We're going to mount our gun and then we'll be right back after that. All right, War Gamers. Uh, looks like we're pretty much done here. Uh, we got the trailer. 
pretty much done. Not much we had to do, not that we know it popped off. Uh, we got these Space Marine Plasma backpacks and a battery ba yeah, battery pack for the last cannons. A uh, couple little hose grubbly bits here to kind of give it that generator look. And then we've got our Mercury here, uh, Mer Mercury, Mercedes here. Uh, a little piece of sprue here to give it a tow hitch since game rules it does need to articulate so we got that going for it um yeah as you see we got our arc lightning projector the shoulder mount got this extra cable kind of going in but um pretty clean build and there you go so she's off to some prime time War gamers, we got her up on the turntable now. Uh, so let's get a little nitty picky into some stats, shall we? As far as names, we're going with Giga Amp. The type of chassis is a car. Uh, sponsor wise, we have no sponsor. And weapons equipment, we rolled up a light trailer, which unfortunately doesn't give you any extra build slots. It ju it just gives you the negatives of having a trailer with no positives. And as far as weapons go, we rode a pretty cool weapon. We rode the Arc Lightning Projector, which is essentially a lightning cannon. It can bounce around to hit multiple targets. Very cool. Perk classes, we rode up Badass and Military. And as far as the perks themselves, we rode up Headshots. So she comes in at a solid 26 cams.